Okay, now let's look at part two of the chapter on the climate of India. I hope in part one you have understood the different factors which affect the climate of our great country. Now let's look specifically at monsoon because as I said, India has a tropical monsoon kind of climate, right? So what are the different kinds of monsoons that you find in India or rather the different kind of monsoon winds that you find in India? With the help of photographs, I've tried to kind of convey and give you a sense of jis tarah ka mausam, jis tarah ki barish hoti hai, so that, you know, barish ka mausam is not just about, you know, sitting and eating samosa. I just found an interesting statistic uh, yesterday that in India on a daily basis there are something like 6 crore samosas which are manufactured. I don't know how true that statistic is but I found it quite fascinating. Anyway, okay. So uh, the monsoon and the seasonal winds. Now they are formed due to differential heating and cooling of land and sea. Because the temperature on sea is different from that of land and the temperature in land is different from that of sea due to the differential jo alag -alag heating and cooling hota hai, uski se, these monsoon winds, the different kinds of seasonal monsoon winds are formed and there are two types one is the summer monsoon the second is the winter monsoon and iske bare mein we will study in more detail so there are essentially two kinds of wind systems that we will be focusing on. Now let's understand what are summer monsoons during summer monsoons, the land gets heated more than the sea. Okay, I hope you have understood and you are able to see it clearly, right? The land gets heated more than the sea and that leads to center of low pressure on the land. Okay, over sea, the air is cooler, so a high pressure zone develops there. So you are understanding, where samundar hai, par high pressure zone hai, or land per it is a low pressure zone because during the summer as you know the land is getting more heat the sea is comparatively comparatively being a keyword comparatively cooler than the land so what happens then as a result during the summer garmi ke mahino mein the winds blow from the sea to the land understood please remember this the winds blow from the sea to the land is per ध्यान देने की आपको जरूरत है। Winds blow from the sea to the land. This is an important phrase. इसीलिए I have said it three times now. This is the summer monsoon. Okay? And as they blow from sea to the land, they bring heavy rainfall. Right? So I repeat again. Land gets heated more than the sea. समझ में आ गया? गर्मी के महीनों में that leads to center of low pressure on the land. Low pressure on the land. कैसे याद करना है? Land L and low pressure L. Okay. Over sea, the air is cooler. So that leads to a high pressure. Okay. So the winds blow from the sea to the land and they bring high rainfall, heavy rainfall as a result. And this is known as the summer monsoon. Summer monsoon winds blow southwest, because, hence they are called the southwesterly summer monsoon. Because jo India ka jo map hai, is tarah se jo hai, so they blow like this. So they blow from the south, uh, in the southwesterly direction. So which is why it is known as the southwesterly monsoon. Okay, so that is the uh, reason. Okay, yahan tak samaj mein aagaya. Let's now look at the uh, winter monsoon. Okay, this, this, you understand it with the thing. This grow in this direction. This is the coast of India. The Kerala, Karnataka, Maharashtra, beach mein Goa. So the southwesterly monsoon winds blow in this direction. This is the Arabian Sea. This is the Indian Ocean. And this is the Bay of Bengal. Whereas, baad mein jab hum padhenge, the northeasterly monsoon winds blow like this. And that's where the rainfall comes to the Tamil Nadu coast in the month of November and December. Okay. Now let's move to the winter monsoon. What is the winter monsoon? Now the conditions are the reverse of the summer. The high pressure area develops now over Central Asia and that comes to the Northwest plain, Indian Plains. Okay, the low pressure zone is now over the Indian Ocean. So the winds now blow from the land to the sea and it brings cold, dry weather. Okay, from the Indian land mass to the uh, ocean is how the 
uh, winds now blow and when they pass over the Tamil Nadu coast they bring rainfall what I just now show, showed you the winter monsoon winds blow northeast so they are called the northeast winter monsoon so this is how it comes out here this is known as the northeastern monsoon winds right northeastern monsoon winds and this is how it is these are the southeast the thing and this is how it brings rainfall to the Tamil Nadu coast in the months of November and December so this is the winter monsoon I hope the summer monsoon and the winter monsoon difference is understood now we will look at the four different seasons of India which is probably why there are lots of hotels which are known as four seasons okay very simplistic okay so uh, let's look at the four seasons okay now this map out here uh, kind of shows you the kind of rainfall which happens uh, the intensity of the rainfall okay the maximum rainfall that you find out here uh, is uh, happening in the as a result of the northeast monsoon in November December to an extent in January uh, along the Tamil Nadu Andhra kind of coast okay the large part of yellow is where the general rainfall takes place then this area there is a lot of rainfall and again in this uh, part again there is a significant amount of rainfall in the winter this is specifically talking about the winter winter ke mahino mein yahan par barish nahi hoti hai barish generally along the andhra and tamil nadu coast this actually should be going right till the end of tamil nadu okay it, this is showing more towards andhra right and there is this part of south india also gets some amount of rainfall uh, during the winter months okay or yahan par because of the westerly depression which i already spoke to you about in the first video you get snowfall and heavy rainfall in the kashmir valley as a result of which wahan par snowfall bhi hoti hai december january and february mein okay i hope this map makes it clear to you this is about rainfall in the winter months okay now the hot dry summer and these are some of the scenes that you see during the hot dry summer right newspapers etc publish them on a daily basis you know people cooling themselves on a train drinking water like this parched earth and, and yet there are these girls which are who are going to school uh, this is uh, in front of the Taj Mahal people bathing and water being splashed from a tap like this right fascinating photographs which give you a sense of the intensity of the summer in India which happens when generally March April May are the three months end of May tak the rain hits the Kerala coast okay and then it gradually moves along the Indian subcontinent right so yahan par jab in May 31 pe Kerala coast ko touch karti hai and it keep gradually moving starts moving inwards and what I told you in the previous uh, video because of the Himalayas it stays here and then it retreats agar Himalayas nahi hota to ye cross karke it would have gone and then India would not have got the retreating monsoon right so that's an important factor which I explained to you in the previous video now the vertical rays of the sun fall directly on the tropic of cancer which is right in the center of the Indian uh, continent like this the tropic of cancer works like this right so it the vertical rays of the sun fall directly on the tropic of cancer so you have the length of the day increase in the length of the day and temperature the temperatures are high during the day in south india it is not so intense hot weather because of the moderating influence of the sea this is important is baat par dhyan dijiye because of the moderating influence of the sea the intensity is not very high in south indian states like andhra telangana tamil nadu karnataka pondich puducherry kerala etc okay and uh, that's what uh, happens as a result uh, of uh, the uh, moderating influence of the sea the wind occurrence in india there are strong and dusty winds which happen loo ki baat suni hogi north indian states mein jo bacche north indian states hai unko malum hoga loo chalti hai bahut garam hawa aati hai kabhi kabhi aandhi bhi aati hai saath mein right and that is enough to cause heat strokes which is why they say that you know don't go out during the afternoon during the summer months in april may because loo chalti hai heat stroke bhi ho sakta hai halaki abhi the recent studies show that if you sit in a hot in a room which is closed from all sides and just operate the fan even that is good enough to cause a heat stroke then you have thunderstorms with heavy rainfall in east india that's another uh, major occurrence which happens during the summer monsoon okay and that is called 
there is a Kalbaisaki which causes rainfall in Bengal, Assam and Odisha and it is good for the crops out there, right? Kalbaisaki is during the month of Baisaki, essentially during the month of April, right? In Assam, it's also known as Bardoli Chirha, okay? Uh, they originate over the Chota Nagpur Plateau which is near Jharkhand, Odisha and it's carried eastward by westerly winds okay and it causes rainfall in assam bengal and odisha there is thunderstorm which lead to rainfall called mango showers in south india so you see the wind occurrence is having different thing i have put the north indian first east india and then south india thunderstorm leading to the they're called mango showers they're called cherry blossoms in karnataka okay cherry blossoms is one of the favorite questions as far as board exams are concerned so is par dhyan dijiye what are Cherry blossoms ke baare mein aap se poochha ja sakta hai. Such showers, basically these are the showers which happen during the summer months, right? Thunder showers leading to rainfall along the Karnataka and the Kerala coast. It's good for the mango crop during the summers. Also for the coffee and tea plantation. They help in early ripening of the mango crop and they are called cherry blossoms in uh, Karnataka. Okay, so this brings us to the end of video number 2. Video number 3 mein hum dusre monsoon types ke baare mein baat karayenge. It's the southwest monsoon season etc. Which is from June to September. So please stay tuned. We are doing it in shorter videos so that aapko samajhne mein asani ho. Aap par jyada pressure na pade. You know. So that it's easy to kind of understand. So I'll now see you in video number 3. Okay. Tata. Bye bye.